What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. So we are back with some more of that Haikyuu Season 4, Episode 3, last episode. Oh boy, it seemed like uh, Hinata, he's starting to realize, you know, I, I, I gotta change up my perspective. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, you know, look at this this opportunity of being a ball boy as a, as a, a, a chance for growth. You know, all your growth doesn't always necessarily have to happen on the court. You need to grow as an individual, learn from what other people are doing, while also, you know, just realizing where what what you need to know about yourself what what are the areas you're lacking in i mean because i'm sorry i keep forgetting the coach's name honestly i ain't gonna lie i don't forget i just haven't tried to learn his name <laughs> but hey, hey i but i respect him the coach for what he's doing i don't really know his his motives behind it necessarily because we know what kind of coach he is he always looks for you know tall power that's just the kind of coach he is but the fact of the matter is uh also he, he, he thought having Hinata here would, you know, it's like, listen, I take a chance on you. If you want to be here and be a ball boy, that's cool. But I feel like if we go back to what happened in season, uh, at the end of season three, he saw a little bit of himself and Hinata wondering, like, if I would have kept, if I wouldn't have been in my head so much, could, could I have been on his level? Can I have been, been able to achieve what he's achieved? So I feel like this is his way of trying to train Hinata without you know, kind of, you know, uh, uh, kind of letting him just bend the rules and be like, oh, well, I guess if anybody can show up, anybody can go to the, come to this little training camp, you know, so in a way, I think he's definitely helping Hinata, but regardless, even if he's not, and I'm completely wrong, Hinata's going to get some growth, whether regardless of whether it's physical or mental growth, but right now, he's definitely growing mentally, he's understanding, like, I, I need to get better like but i it, st it first starts up here it starts up here so i'm really curious to see how this next episode is about to go if you guys are too so uh let's go ahead and get on into it all right brother he not stepping out the closet with the brooms he's like bitch i'm about to sweep some shit Ugh. you gotta look at the eyes <laughs> <laughs> Did he just agree with that? Oh, he hated. I know why he hated though. We all know why he hated because that boy hungry, and he sees how hungry he is in the eyes. Ooh. Oh, this intro is a vibe, man. Let me know right now. What? Do you, how do y'all feel about this intro? Mm -mm, you ain't on the court. You're not anyone on that court. Oh. Mm-hmm, you can't chase after that ball. Hit him with that power. Ah. Ooh, that knockback gets me every time. I'm like, oh, them forearms gotta be tender. See, he's learning. He's learning. Off the court learning. This is what you need. Look at that. You ain't these are things he's not able to see when he's when he's down on that low level, but now he's up high. He's focused. He's getting better. Yes. <laughs> I love this. The growth that's happening off the court right now. This is what we need from Brother Hinata. The next time he step on that court, my boy gonna be ready. See, all he ever watches the ball. See, look at that. He's learning things about himself. <laughs> He's like, I plan to, bitch. I ain't gonna have you help me and I not help you. Like, listen. Wait, wait, take his feet off the ground. Like, is he talking about just like what the Libra was doing? That little quick little hop and then um um his action? Because I mean, to be a good athlete, well, depending on the sport, you really want to be on the balls of your feet if you want to really increase that reaction time. You don't want to be sitting flat on your heels. Then use the impact of your... Woo! Oh, my boy! Mm-hmm. 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 What's up? Still catching it with his face, but that's fine. That's fine. Oh, nose bleeding all, my boy. Yo, the level of growth Hinata is going through right now. This is, I love this. Because this is what he needed, that change of perspective. You don't always have to learn on the court. You can learn just as much off the court. You're able to, your field of view is a lot wider. And plus, again, like he said, he was always only watching the ball, but now he's watching the whole court. 
He's only been chasing the ball. Mm-hmm. What? I mean, I guess that makes sense. Uh, I got a little pissed off about that for a second there, but it makes sense. <sighs> I get it. What? Oh, I thought he was talking to... Oh, does he not this chance? <laughs> He's like, I'll pick those balls for you. <laughs> He's like, I'm supposed to hate this guy. I'm, I'm supposed to hate this guy. <laughs> but... Like, damn it! <sighs> He's like, well, you just need me to do line shots. Huh? I guess I could do that. <laughs> Woo! Come on. You got this. Trial and error. Trial and error, baby. Trial and error, baby. Ooh! We got it with the face again. <laughs> Kendaichi's like, why does he seem so excited? He's just retrieving balls. <laughs> what? Oh, that's a long ways home. Oh, I remember this conversation. This was, oh, I remember this. Oh, the emotions I felt watching that moment. <laughs> He's like, what? What you talking about? He said, yeah, get your protein, you know, got to repair those muscles that were tore up, get them carbs, because you need that energy to replenish the body, banana, or orange juice, hello, e. <laughs> Ooh, a little too far, my guy. You got to ease it back a little bit. This is what practice is for. I say, he, my boy. Oh, I didn't realize that. He is doing jump serves. Woo! Hey, listen. You good. You good, my boy. <laughs> hey, that's what we practicing for. Bitch, shut your ass up. They teammate at full put at, at full power right now, so don't don't act like y'all beat them. Uh oh, he said, let me go ahead and step back real fast. Uh oh, oh, it was on the line. That's out. That's out. Oh, I forgot. It's just practicing, but whatever. Exactly, that's what it was. His natural ability as an athlete. He's a great athlete. It's just he never was properly able to practice volleyball. Cause he never had a full team until he came to Karasuno. So this is this is his year of growth right now. God damn it. Intuition. My boy's growing. Hinata, let's go. From season one to season three, and Hinata's been learning the whole time. I mean, obviously everybody else has, but he's literally been learning. Cause he never got the opportunity to play on a full, fully, you know, f flourish team, a nourished team, a team of individuals that knew what the hell they was doing. Suki, listen, I don't even need to, Suki don't even got to say nothing. I already know he looking out for my boy. Uishiwaka looking to see his growth also. Ah, yeah, yeah. That's his rival, baby boy. <laughs> Matter of fact, yeah, let's see his perspective. There we go. I forgot all about, let's see what Kageyama doing. We know he a natural athlete though. He probably showing out. Then again, he's surrounded by some other um monsters. Look at that dude. He's like he like I'm too cool, baby. He I set you up. That was cool, right? Ugh. Is he excited? My boy excited? Oh goodness. <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. He out working y'all. Y'all just looking at ball boy just being a ball boy, but he not to that change of perspective. The vapor. My boy working hard. Ooh. That's good. That's good, Suki. You need him there. 
You know, force your, let him, you know, be the reason you, you know, push yourself here. Ooh, what's up, though, boy? Yeah, congratulate my boy. My boy working hard. My boy improving. He's like, my dear good. Thank you. Oh! Oh! <laughs> 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 he out for the count. He's like, wait a minute, what? Hello? What the hell? That was the epic! Oh, you motherfuckers. Oh. Yo, I really like this episode. Seeing the, the level of growth Hinata has made. First of all, he made it a considerable amount of growth in this episode alone. You know, because again, the switching of the perspective. Uh, it's just... He, he finally understood, which we saw at the end of season two. I mean, at the end of episode two, that, you know, he was realizing, like... I, I'm pretty much I have to I have to switch up the way I'm thinking like I don't have to be on the court to make growth and he 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 he, he, he acted on that that thought process in this episode he started you know watching the court more instead of like he kept saying watching the ball like he was he because the thing about it he not to not only he says he only watches the ball but you gotta think he real he remembered uh, a bunch of these individual players what they were really good at because he played against them in matches so even though he was just watching the ball he knew you know what to expect from a, some of these players but the fact that he took the time to actually watch all these other players in their positions like when he was watching the libro because again like he said he never really gets to watch noya do anything and he started picking up on what he was doing and he's like let me try this myself and just the level of growth he made in this episode and <sighs> Somebody, I'm, I was gonna say, let me know what uh, 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 Shiri uh, Toizawa's coach's name in the comment section, but you know, I'm gonna forget it anyway, so don't even bother. <laughs> but he's watching Hinata's growth, and I know he sees it. He's not gonna, I still, again, he's again, he's giving off this vibe of like cold, like, oh, there's no lodging and food for uh, people that weren't invited. Okay, cool, I understand that, uh, but this is still his way of i think training hinata because again he's we we are watching hinata grow right now like so this is his way because he could easily say you know what go home you're not invited but instead he's allowing him to 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 stay here and ukai was right he was like listen don't under underestimate what it means to be a ball boy now the other two ball boys they're just doing what they're doing being ball boys you know washing the jerseys sweeping the floor uh getting the balls but Hinata is doing more he's doing all those tasks while also improving as a player because like I said in this video he he again his natural instincts were good he's a he's a great athlete but he was never properly able to uh work with a team of individuals that also played the sport of volleyball like they were all just it was just a makeshift team when he was in middle school so when he came to karasuno that's what, the first time he was actually surrounded by people who knew what the hell they were doing and so and and literally in the, all the first three seasons even though he was improving we it mostly just relied on his ability to run fast jump high you know that was really what we uh the team relied on like seriously obviously kakiyama as well but hinata as an individual you know without the rest of the team hinata really is bare bones he's just a fast uh kid who can jump high and so seeing him finally grow as an as a volleyball player not just as an athlete but as a volleyball player i love this moment so much i love it i love it i love it and i cannot wait to see what he does when the whole squad get back together and I, i'm curious to see what suki gotta say to my boy I love the fact because he not to motivates everybody, and you know we already saw that Suki definitely gets motivated by him, even though he don't want to admit it. So, and man, I like the way that uh, Ushiwaka is kind of keeping his eye on him as well. So it's a lot happening. I'm loving it. I hope you guys are as well. Shoot, but I'm uh, that's it, baby. So I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.